So let's look at the following example in which we're going to calculate the net electrostatic force that one point charge feels as a result of two other point charges. So let's begin by recalling the principle of superposition of electrostatic forces. So the principle of superposition for electrostatic forces states that the net force on any single point charge will be the vector sum of the forces due to the other point charges. So let's begin our example in which we're going to apply this principle as well as Coulomb's law. So three point charges are placed along a straight line as shown in a following diagram. So we have point charge one, two, and three. Determine the net electrostatic force that point charge one feels as a result of the other two point charges. And let's begin by looking at our quantities. Now the distance between point charge one and two given by this quantity is three meters. And the distance between point charge two and three given by this is five meters. Now the charge on point charge one is negative two microcoulombs, the charge on point charge two is negative six microcoulombs, and the charge on point charge three is positive twelve microcoulombs. So let's begin by determining all the forces acting on point charge 1 that lie along the horizontal axis, along the x-axis. Let's choose going this way along the x-axis to be positive and going this way to be negative. Now, let's begin with the force that this point charge feels as a result of the second point charge. So because these two charges have the same sign, they will repel. And so this object, this point charge, will create a force on this object that will point in this direction, along the negative direction, along the x-axis. So that force is shown by this vector, force 1, 2, the force on point charge 1 due to point charge 2. Now, let's go on to the second force. The second force that this point charge feels is a result of this force, and that's given by F1, 3. Now, because these signs are opposite, they will attract one another, and so the electric static force will point in this direction. So this is our positive force and our negative force. Now, according to the principle of superposition for electrostatic forces, the net electrostatic force is equal to the sum of these two forces. So F13 minus F12. Now we apply Coulomb's law, and we get the following two results. So, this force is K, our constant, multiplied by the charge of point charge 1, multiplied by the charge of point charge uh, 3, divided by the distance between this point charge and this point charge. So, that's simply the sum of these two distances, D12 plus D23 squared. And we subtract this quantity. So K multiplied by Q1, multiplied by Q2, divided by D12 squared, where D12 is this quantity. Now, we know what all these quantities are, so let's plug them in. Now, note that 1 microcoulomb is equal to 1 times 10 to the negative coulombs. So we must first convert this quantity into coulombs. So we simply multiply each by 1 times 10 to the negative 6. So our k value is 8.99 times 10 to the 9 newtons multiplied by meters squared divided by coulomb squared. Q1 is given to be 2 multiplied by 10 to the 6 coulombs. Q3 is given to be 12 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. And we divide that by this entire distance, so 3 plus 5 or 8 meters squared. And we subtract this quantity, so our k is the same, our q1 is the same, our q2 becomes 6 multiplied by 10 to the negative 6 coulombs, and we divide by d12 squared. Our d12 is simply 3 meters. So we plug these into our calculator, we get 0.00337 newtons minus 0.0120 newtons, and we get about negative 0.00 0.0863 
three newtons. So this is the magnitude and the negative simply means the net electrostatic force will point in this direction, in the negative direction along the x-axis.